Hope break good, was good for everybody. Um, over 20 years ago, I started my company. I'm going, you keep up. <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Over 20 years ago, I started my company, and we've gotten a lot of nice recognition from our team, the Business Journal, Chambers of Commerce, that claim we're a success. What a lot of people may not know is that around the turn of the century, I know that sounds quaint, we really should have gone out of business and with a pile of debt and a lot of things I had done wrong. And it was lessons I'd learned the hard way. And since then, I've noticed a lot of our clients that we help are repeating the mistakes. So today, I'm going to repeat a lot of these mistakes so you too can be an entrepreneurial screw-up. And one of them is to have way too much love for your idea of business. I, my problem was I loved my business, so I took on all this debt that I had no idea how I was going to pay back instead of doing the responsible things of changing the business. Oh, we'll do it. And that was because I didn't understand money. Oh, we know how to count money, but money can be very powerful, but it can, that power can really hurt you. It cost us some of our mistakes about line of credit and other things cost us tens of thousands of dollars we didn't get back. Now, we think independence is good for entrepreneurs, but being dependent is a great way to be an entrepreneurial screw-up because no one succeeds in a vacuum. If you want to succeed, it's because others want to help you. And being too independent, and that was my problem, I can figure this out. Now, we all saw Field of Dreams. You know, they build it and they will come. Well, because we love our ideas, our business, the, we, a lot of entrepreneurs are going to do the same thing. Everybody's going to love this when I build it. What they should do is research. I don't do this one, I hope, but I see a lot of other businesses, they want to be, the boss wants to be the smartest person, so they hire minions and then get upset when the minions don't deliver because it can't be their fault because they're the smartest employee. That leads us to the problems with perspectives, not only from employees but clients and vendors, that you need to see things from multiple perspectives. If not, great way to lose a lot of money by not considering all these different factors. Uh, if your business plan says, all I need is money, that means you don't have any experience, you've not sought out advisors, you've not done research, go ahead and just light your money on fire and, and forget the, the rest of the process. If you want to be an entrepreneurial screw up, another thing to do is wait to take action. Now, planning is important to a point. In my case, I waited too long, and, but when I finally did start making action, we corrected the problems, but I waited too long to do those things. Entrepreneurial scripts also tend to avoid conflict, appropriate conflict. Now, I'm not talking about the disaster folks who just want to cause fights, but there's certain conflict you need within an organization to resolve problems or to create new ideas and bring those to help your clients and help your team grow. Entrepreneurial scripts think facts are enough because they love their idea. I'm going to bury you with facts. I'm going to sell my idea with facts. The truth is, until the customer cares or believes in it, it doesn't matter. But the entrepreneurial screw-up knows you should just believe me. Uh, waiting too late to change your staff. In my case, we really should have had layoffs, and, and that helped get us in debt. But also, one of the great things, if you want to be a screw-up, keep the bad employees. That's a great way to waste money. It's a great way to uh, also to keep your morale low. Now, a business cowboy is, you think when you start a business, hey, you know, I'm going to do all this stuff, that's great until the business grows. But to be a, a cowboy, you know, keep moving and keep things that are breaking your teamwork. <clears throat> Think marketing and sales are the same thing. That basically means advertising, promotion, you shove it down people's throats so they can ignore the expensive ads you bought. Another, one other uh, reason you can do is outgrow your business scale. I did this one. I kept thinking, I'm going to be smarter and work harder, and that'll take us to the next level. No, the entrepreneurial screw-up, that's the way to do it. The smart people, meanwhile, are changing their businesses to different plateaus, and they're the ones making money. But that leads to a, a problem we all have. A lot of us are not very introspective and really understand ourselves, and the entrepreneurial screw-up is really fixated, well, I'm right, so it's everybody else's problem, and that's going to cause uh, you, uh, another obstacle. There's a difference between motion and forward progress. I know a lot of people who run a business, and they work really, really hard, and they go nowhere. It's a Chinese fire drill. And to confuse those two things is a great way to go ahead and also just, you know, throw some money out as you run around. <laughs> and... The last thing I'm going to leave you with is only work at your business. And what I mean by this is I know a lot of people who are a great employee and they're a lousy leader. 
they work at the business and not on the business. So if you want to be an entrepreneurial screw up, just be sure that you know, there's no leadership or teamwork and you'll really be able to run your business right down the crapper. <laughs> and those are my tips on how to be an entrepreneurial screw up.